Welcome to day 94 of our Big Cloud journey. Again, there's not really too much happening over this weekend so far. You know, nothing news, newsworthy, at least not with the platform itself. But we have, do have a few things we want to talk about. Uh, my Instagram account actually got locked yesterday. Wait a minute. Wait. Did your, did your sleeves fall? Did you get attacked by a shark or an alligator or something? What happened? No. Nah. Don't oh, be jealous okay. of the guns, Brian. Um, so let me get back to you. You kind of just messed up my whole train of thought. But so my Instagram account, it got it got blocked, not blocked, it got locked yesterday. And I really have no idea why. Uh, it says it's locked for a day, it's supposed to be unlocked today. But I had been messaging, but whenever I see a celebrity or an influencer or an account that appears to be an influencer or celebrity that comes with a big clout, I usually find them on Instagram, send them a message and ask them if they're really who they, if they really have a big cloud account, if that's really their big cloud account. And I message a person on big cloud and say, Hey, I just sent you a message on Instagram. Please get back to me when you have a minute. I'm trying to verify that this is you. And, you know, like sometimes they get back to me and say, yes, that's me. Other times they get back to me and say, no, that's not me. How do I get rid of this account? And then I kind of help them out. But I don't know. I've been probably doing about five accounts a day where I message influencers on Instagram when I find their corresponding account on Instagram. I mean, on Big Cloud. So I don't know if that, that's the only thing I can think of. Because other than that, I haven't really been using Instagram. But it seems like kind of a pretty lame reason to lock my account just for asking people if they have a big cloud account did they lock your entire account or lock your access to dms no i'm locked like i can't do anything in my account uh, it's only a couple days though right it, it says today it said one day i mean it it just kind of shows us why we need big cloud why we need decentralization and you know like we don't need a corporation controlling who can be on the platform and who can you know, contact people on the platform. And maybe Instagram's a little, maybe Facebook and Instagram are scared. Maybe they're afraid of BitCloud. And maybe that's why, I mean, I don't know. You know, it's like, I don't know. I doubt they're pinpointing people that are sending messages about BitCloud to lock their accounts, but who knows? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it is, it's frustrating because that's one of the ways to kind of verify people. And if they're kind of, blocking you and, and suspending you temporarily for just messaging people, asking if they're not scamming, asking, making sure that there's no scam going on. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, we don't know. We don't know the real reason, but who knows? So I guess we can move on. Uh, so there's been like some, a lot of drama recently on BitCloud. Yeah. And like the last, I'd say five to six days, um, it all stems from, from a lot of different things. I don't want to get too specific because I don't want to call anybody out or, or blame anybody. But I, I think that people need to look towards the future more, look at all the positive things that are coming about. That, like, don't dwell on, dwell on what we can't change from the past. Learn from what we've dealt with. So if something happened that shouldn't have happened, then it's, it's important to talk about. But there's a lot of drama where people are blaming each other and and there's a lot of, it seems like almost jealousy of some people because some people are like in the know more, or have a higher point price, or it's just, it's just a little ridiculous and childish. So I think we should just look towards the future. I know we know of, of a handful of third party developments that are taking place on the blockchain, on the BitCloud blockchain, and some really, really cool stuff. Um, I don't want to say much because I don't know how much the developers want out there yet but there's at least i can think of three or four really big projects that are really going to move bitcloud forward i think especially over the next few months so so look towards the future learn from the past and and i think that you know, you know I, I think it's like i think the coin price the price of bitcloud has a lot to do with this you know the price has fallen significantly from what was it up to like 200 200, 200. so it's fallen eighty dollars so that's forty percent we've taken a forty percent hit in the price over the course of what a week a week and a half so everybody's coin price on the platform has fallen forty percent unless you're you just came onto the platform and your coin value is going up or buying you but 
everybody's coin price pretty much has taken that 40% hit. And I mean, like we said, we always say, don't pay attention to your coin price, you know, don't focus on your coin price. But I guess it's kind of hard to really not focus on your coin price because it's just there. It's like the first thing you see when you come to your profile. So I think that's kind of upsetting people, frustrating people, depressing people, the people who put money into the platform. Um, you know, they're seeing their their assets go down in value. Um, so I, I, I think we just got to realize that there's better days ahead. You know, like you can't just get discouraged over the price falling or, you know, like somebody being a scammer on the platform. I mean, that's just part of decentralized social media. Like I said, you know, I think, like you said, I think we can learn from a lot of the things that are taking place. Uh, for example, rug pool games. Maybe they're not really the best thing to be taking place on this platform. Uh, but I think everything's kind of a learning experience. And hopefully we can all move forward as a community and, you know, build BitCloud. Yeah, and I think the last thing we want to touch on is uh, Bike into BitCloud. And this is a new project that is being developed by Thor Torrens and Michael Lee Rowland, two really great guys we met in Miami. Um, they're really active on the platform. They're working on so many different projects. And, and I, I, I love the idea. I, it's, it's really an interesting one. And I think it's going to get people to know other people in BitCloud. Yeah, so, so Roland and Torrens are planning to do a series where, or video series, I guess you could say, where they break bread with other people in BitCloud. So they're going to travel. They're going to take road trips, meet up with individuals on BitCloud and have dinner with them. And the idea, as, as uh, Michael Lee Rowland was explaining to us the other day, is that you know he feels that people are more open to talking about things when you're sitting down for a meal. You know, you're eating dinner. You might not have that much in common, but you do have BitCloud in common. So especially when you have like a glass of wine or like a, a bourbon in front of you. Yeah, so I, I mean, it, it kind of, BitCloud's kind of like the icebreaker here because everybody that they're going to be meeting and having dinner with is on BitCloud and has these early BitCloud experiences, you know, like we've kind of seen it grow and we've seen it grow together and we have those kind of same experiences. So I think that's a great icebreaker. And then, you know, we can learn about some of the other people in BitCloud. So I, I love the project idea. I, I love what they're doing. And, uh, Thor Torrens and Michael Lee Wall are both great guys who are really, really active on BitCloud. And really, they're really some of the OGs of BitCloud. Yeah, I, I just think any project that's going to kind of bring people together and kind of show show the community who's out there is good and it gets people excited. It gets people involved. And, and, and uh, I, I think it's a great project. And I really hope we see other things like that pop up. Over yeah, there. we definitely have to have both of them on our show. When we get back from vacation, Brian and I are going away for 10 days. We're still going to be, be made, trying to make these videos while we're gone. And we're going to try to be active on Big Cloud while we're gone as well. Um, it just might be difficult to have guests because setting times and stuff might be hard. Yeah, so um, I guess that's a good place to leave off. And we will talk to you tomorrow. It might be on an airplane or it might be in Minnesota. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be in the morning before we leave. But we'll talk to you tomorrow.